get the party going, ladies and gentlemen. And put your hands together for Ethan Ham. Ethan Ham. Coming out of the future fight force from Union City, Tennessee. Been training about a year without a team now. There's no two. Ethan Ham. Mr. Ham. Not much information on 22 years old, 205. This will be a light heavyweight match. I hadn't heard this song in a while either. Yeah, that is always one of the most interesting parts of a, of a, a smaller show, Fight Night, or any Fight Night for that matter, is seeing the songs, hearing the songs that these guys choose to walk out to. It is. I remember for my, my grappling match, that was one of the most difficult decisions I had to make, too. <laughs> trying to think of, like, just the intro part. And this will be an MMA match as well. First MMA match of the night. It's very calm. And welcome his opponent, Jordan Stewart. Jordan, hell yeah, Stewart. 22 years old as well. 205, fighting out of Dogwood BJJ. He also has an 0-0 record out of here from Dyersburg, Tennessee. A bug in here. Jordan, a white belt with two stripes, I believe. Yeah. I'm not sure if they're wanting to stand and bang or if he's wanting to go to the ground. Yeah, I didn't get to talk to him beforehand. So I'm trying to, trying to judge their body language. They might just stand right in the middle and just throw it. Calm and composed. Oh, hey, y'all. Yeah, we were talking about our audio earlier. They couldn't hear us. Trying to adjust our mics closer. Hopefully you can hear me a little better yeah. now. There we go. I guess I could yell a little louder, too. <laughs> Coming in with the chest hair as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looking pretty calm. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner, standing six foot tall, weighing at 209 pounds. Making his MMA debut, fighting out of future fight force Union City, Ethan Ham. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, standing five foot nine inches tall. Weighing at 201 pounds, making his MMA debut, fighting of Dogwood BJJ Dyersburg. Put your hands together, Jordan, hell yeah, Stewart. He is very focused. Very focused. Yeah, both of these guys look very calm. Mm -hmm. They got the cage locked. Nope. Oh. Fixing to get the go ahead from the ref here. Fight number two underway. Good mm -hmm. stiff Good jab. Yep. Okay. Flurries from both guys. Starting out strong. Mm -hmm. I believe the punches from Jordan are coming a little straighter. Mm -hmm. Ethan's getting them in. They're finding him. Jordan with the shot. Stepping the, the takedown. Mm -hmm. Good defense from Ethan Hill. Ooh. Overhand right, right from Jordan. That one landed. Yeah, th that one landed. Him. Yeah, he did. Look at him. That could be a potential knockout of the night. Right, man. Wow. <laughs> that was some power from that overhand right. That was. Ladies and gentlemen, at 43 seconds of the first round, your winner by T.K.O. Jordan Hill, yeah, yeah. Stewart. <laughs> With the eyes. 
sportsmanship. Absolutely. What would you like to say? I'd just like to apologize for my foul language. I know there's kids in uh, the <laughs> building, and I appreciate you all coming out. I think everybody in here kind of understands that emotions do run a little bit high, given what we're doing. Uh, but I'm going to follow that up with what is the second thing that you would like to say? Hell yeah. Hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jordan, <laughs> hell yeah, Stewart. First fight, how does it feel? Awesome, I loved it. This is, uh, this is what I thought was gonna happen. I trained for it. Uh, I know I trained harder than he did and uh, I got it done in 43 seconds. I don't think you could have asked for a, a better performance. Uh, he did land a little bit on you, but I think once you settled in and you started moving your head and you became comfortable and realized that it's just like sparring, you were able to find it. Uh, with that overhand right caught him and it stopped him dead in his tracks. Did you? Did you realize he was hurt when you landed it, or were you still looking for it? I was still looking to go until I seen him start covering up. Uh, I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know that overhand right landed. I thought I got him with the uppercut, but I'm glad it landed. Well, you're looking at one of the uh, one of the potential knockout of the night bonuses, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we can keep this thing going and uh, get you a little uh, little pocket money for the end of the night. But good job, man. Can I get a hell yeah? <laughs> Jordan, hell yeah, Stewart. Loving his moment. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't walk up to the Stone Cold thing like he did last time. <laughs>